Fellow problem solvers, thank you again for joining. Johan Oosthuis and John East here. Share, like and subscribe. Adding and subtracting. I know you've been working with adding and subtracting for a long time, right? But today we are zooming in on algebraic expressions and how to add and subtract like terms. Apples with apples, oranges with oranges. What? You'll know soon enough. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back fellow problem solvers. Hope you're doing very well. So yes, algebraic expressions continues, adding and subtracting like terms. So we'll be talking about what the word like terms mean. Okay, first of all, and this will sound funny, but let's just go for it. Repeat after me, apples with apples. And sheep with sheep so if you ever get confused just think of this expression apple with apples with apples and sheep with sheep the moment we talk about like terms we are talking about things that are exactly the same for instance you can have apples and bananas and both of them are fruit but an apple is not a banana a banana is not an apple you can have sheep and goats but they're not the same animal. They're both livestock, but they're not the same animal. So you cannot add two sheep to three goats and call them five cows. You cannot do that, right? It won't, it won't work. It's foolishness, right? But the moment you talk about mathematical terms, sometimes we do get confused. But let's have a look at what we have here. Okay, so first of all, we've got 3a. Now, a is a variable. 3 is it coefficient. So now, let's see if there's an other A terms here. There's got three A's, if you think about apples, and minus two A's. Let's see if we've got other B's here. 4B and a 4B. Let's look at the C's. There's a C and there's a C. Those that I've highlighted in a specific color, those are like terms. So for instance, the answer for this a question will be 3a minus 2a, which will be a. 4b minus 4b is 0. So for the sake of just clarity, I'm just going to write a 0. The negative 6c plus 5c is minus a c. Remember, we don't need to write the 1. So therefore, our final answer here is a minus c. So you can see this example will help you to understand this concept. Now let's look at number 2. So number 2, y squared plus y squared plus 3y squared. So how many y squares are there? 1 plus 1 plus 3. So this is equal to 5y squared. Let's look at number 3. 15ab plus 30 BC. Now you can see here we've got an AB and a BC, but these are not like terms. This is an A times B, this is a B times C. But you will notice that 15 AB and negative 5 AB are like terms, just like 30 BC and negative 10 BC are like terms. So again we'll approach it by using color. 15 AB minus 5 AB is equal to 10. AB and then 30 BC minus 10 BC is 20 BC. So I'll we'll say 10 AB plus 20 BC. Let's look at another example. Example 4. Now, example 4 is an interesting one because we've got x, 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 and x, but we've got x squared and x and x squared. Now in this case, the x's will be like terms, and the x squares will be like terms. And now, if we simplify this, you'll see 2x squared minus x squared is just 1x squared. Then 9x plus 12x is a 21x. So you can see here, they look similar. I mean, x squared is x being squared. Now there's x times x, but it's not like term. So this would be um, a good example of that. 
Let's look at number 5. 10x squared y cubed plus 7x squared y cubed. You can easily see the like terms. So this is then equal to 17x squared y cubed. Let's look at the final one. Number 6. 7x squared y plus 4xy squared. Now be careful here because they look similar but they are not the same terms. They're not like terms. You can see here 8x squared y is like terms with 7x squared y. And then 4xy squared and 3xy squared. Those are like terms. So over here, 7x squared y plus 8x squared y is equal to 15x squared y. And 4xy squared minus 3xy squared is just 1xy squared. Remember, we don't show the 1. Great. These examples will help you uh, tremendously. So that's how the cookie crumbles. Stay tuned for more and enjoy your day.